It's really common in exams to deal with questions relating to magnification of images. And a lot of students get really confused with this. You might be asked questions such as, what's the magnification? Or what's the actual size of the object? To get the answer to these questions, all you need is a ruler and a calculator. To calculate the magnification, you need two things. You must divide the image size by the actual size. And most people find it a lot easier to remember it as a formula triangle like this. So what's the difference between the image size and the actual size? This is the thing that most people struggle with. The image size refers to the size of the actual picture that you're looking at on the piece of paper. The actual size of the object is the size that it is in real life. If you're dealing with cells, for example, this is going to be a really small number, something smaller than a millimeter, and it's sometimes measured in micrometers. Here's a good example of a question you might be asked on magnification. We've got a picture of onion cells, and we know that the actual size of these is 0.3 millimeters in length, and the question wants you to calculate the magnification. First, take out your ruler and measure the length of a cell in the image you have. This is the image size. Here you can see that it's about 16 centimeters. So now we've got the image size and the actual size. We know the image size is 16 centimeters or 160 millimeters because we've measured that. We know that the actual size is 0.3 millimeters because it's provided in the question. So now we just plug the numbers into our magnification calculation. And we can see, using the same units in each, in this case that's millimetres, we've got 160 divided by 0.3. And we can see our answer, if you put it into a calculator, is 533.3 times. It's important that you are careful with the units. We usually use a little X symbol for magnification. Don't be tempted to put millimetres next to your magnification. You'll probably lose marks for it in an exam. Remember, with formula triangles, it's really easy to rearrange things. The question might not ask for magnification, but might instead ask for actual size. It's easy to rearrange the triangle. Actual size equals the image size divided by magnification.